Listing Diario Editorial for December 15th of 2023. The agony cannot be prolonged. The traffic crisis is multidimensional. It is not resolved overnight, but it can begin to be mitigated with some specific measures. These alternatives applicable in the short term can be implemented with administrative decisions while working on comprehensive solutions. Experts who have studied the different variables of this crisis, which today has hit rock bottom, agree on at least six short-term measures. These are a change of direction of some streets and avenues, a new authorization of left turns to shorten the wait and traffic lights, a regulation to penalize the use of vehicles with a single person, and charging for streets parking. Of the 3 million vehicles that circulate in the city, 34% have only one person inside. That is to say, the conditions must be created to expand public transport corridors and maximize the supply of parking, while removing passenger stations leaving or entering the city from the central polygon. Likewise, a strict scheduled regulation for the circulation of heavy vehicles on the capital's roads, including those of the garbage collection service. To apply these measures, all that is required is a firm commitment from all actors in the system as a first step to clear the ground for permanent solutions. While the conditions are created to strengthen mass transportation with buses, trains, and transfer vehicles and road safety education among citizens is stimulated, the crisis must be addressed with urgent, palliative, and necessary measures. The Forum on Urban Mobility proposed by Listin Diario as a present clarion called to confront this overwhelming crisis, seeks precisely for the state and society to unite in a program of phases, short, medium, and long-term, designed by the most competent specialists of the country. For Listin Diario, voiceover and translations by Indira Rodriguez.